First name's Casey, C-A-S-E-Y, last name Fieldhouse, F-I-E-L-D, H-O-U-S-E, and I'm a captain with the City of Orange Fire Department. Yeah, I'm a very large response. you got a hazmat team. Starting with the call, uh, time of the call, walk me through what you have working on at Dell. Okay. So units were, the call came in tonight at 7.25 p.m. Uh, in the 700 block of South of Dell uh, for a possible hazmat incident. Um, unknown really at this time what the chemicals are that were mixed by the homeowner um, but early reports are that it could be some sort of a science project um, and so uh, unknowing they uh, called for an emergency response and so we uh, have a hazmat team on scene and a full response to a tree very seriously we've isolated and denied entry to the area um, and we've evacuated the building at this time and uh, we're awaiting the uh, response from hazmat on what the chemical is and how to stabilize it and this is in an apartment? Uh, it's a fourplex, yes. Fourplex. And you were saying a, a mother and a, and a child were working on the science project? I'm not sure who's inside yet. Uh, I haven't been inside. We're, we're keeping that to the hazmat team. But I know that they're out of the building at this time. But then initially, they, uh, it was uh, a child and, and a family member working on the uh, uh, science project. If that's what you have, you're probably right. I don't have that info at this time. Okay. But initial call came out as it was a science project? Yeah, that's what it sounded like in the notes. Okay. Um, Talk about the danger of that, um, you know, any kind of mix in any kind of products. Yeah, um, you know, without knowing all the specifics, um, uh, anytime you mix chemicals, you can have a violent reaction. So we always recommend that you do that under, uh, you know, under the, the supervision of your science teacher or of a professional. Um, you never know how things are going to react. What streets are closed right now? Um, currently right now, uh, everything uh, on Kathleen South uh, and into Adele down to Mayfair have been isolated at this time for traffic. Um, anything else to add? I know the hazmat team is uh, kind of suiting up and they're going to be going in to, to check it out. No, um, fire department's on scene. They have a good plan. Like I said, we're focusing highly on public safety right now um, and incident stabilization. So um, I'm guessing we should have this resolved within the next few minutes. That's my group, Bill. Uh, anything else to add? No, sir. Captain, you had an update for me. Um, go ahead with that. Okay, so brief update from the IC. It is confirmed that it was uh, a mom and a child working on a school science project that kind of got away from that. Okay, and that puts under investigation? That's correct. All right. Um, can you spell your first and your last name for me? My name's Leanna Meunier, L-E-A-N-N-A-M-E-U-N-I-E-R. Um, you were telling me you live right across the street. All this fire department activity, um, you were super surprised, right? Yeah, I was a little alarmed. Uh, to be honest, they have ropes here, 
and here and I lived right behind in between that and we were just kind of concerned of why they were doing that and tried to ask some questions and nobody was giving us the answers and it just kind of scared us and we just wanted to know if we were in trouble but got no response. Hearing what happened, uh, you know, a science project gone bad um, and you have children. Um, talk about that. I, that's kind of makes me laugh a little bit because you know if it was a science project I mean teachers send you home with the actual things to use and to put together um, not too sure if I buy that one to be honest with you uh, just the way that a lot of authorities were not answering our questions leads me to be there might be something else going on I'm not sure if I buy the the science experiment because there no teacher would send their child you know home with ingredients to cause this big of a chaos. Right. Do you know your neighbors across the street? I do not. No, I do not. Okay. Yeah. Are you able to leave right now? I know it's all closed. You no, can't leave. no, we can't leave. Um, we couldn't come in to park into our garage. They had everything blocked off. We have to park down the street. How long have you lived here? Uh, about almost a year. And you were saying you normally don't see fire department here. No, nothing like this. Uh, nothing like this at all.